Yeah, but the water's the spray's coming in, mate. Oh, in some very, very nasty conditions. Um, forecasts don't always get it right. It's always a bit of a gamble and we are in some big and nasty seas right now. We have waves occasionally curling over in front of us, basically curling over the front of the boat. Um, yeah, so I guess what you want to do in this sort of situation is obviously Stay composed, no point stressing out. Um, we've got a fair, fair bit of a run back before we get uh, into shelter. And um, we're just gonna take it nice and slow. Uh, we've got about the worst situation going on here because we're going parallel to the, the waves which are coming in from offshore. Big chop, pretty big swell. And um, you know, obviously that's not the ideal situation but that's just the way we've got to head back. <coughs> Boat's doing it well, haven't had any nasty kind of uh, behaviour, hasn't tried to broach on us, hasn't, we haven't had any waves actually or any water really come into the boat, so no problems with the boat, we're just taking it nice and slow and comfortably. Uh, must admit the, the four blade is helping us control the boat a lot better at these sort of low speeds, so I've got it, the boat positioned exactly how I, how I want it to be. So the attitude is much nicer at these slow speeds. So we're going very slow, to be honest, just to make sure it's not dangerous and uh, we're still comfortable. So we're only doing about 20, 23 kilometers per hour at the moment. But yeah, it's nasty. Haven't been out in seas like this for a while. And we're on our way out. We are going to head like a long way offshore and I sort of, you know, I hate wimping out of going fishing, but um, sometimes the smartest move is to basically call it a day and, and you know, head back in. And that's what we're doing here. And I really wouldn't have liked to have gotten much further. <coughs> I was caught out in speeds like this one day in a 17 foot, 18 foot cruise craft. And basically the entire back of the, it took so much water on board of the entire back of the boat filled with water and um, was able to just keep the boat floating with the bilge pump going to keep the back of the boat above the water line. So seriously scary stuff. Uh, if you don't have a good boat, uh, bar crushers obviously, you know, doing it easily. We're totally safe here, but I tell you what, you, uh, you wouldn't want to be in anything any smaller than this boat, to be honest and uh, you wouldn't want to be inexperienced out here because it just shows, you know, today was only forecast, I think, for 10, 15 knot winds. Um, you know, it's at least double that, if not more. Uh, swells much bigger than anticipated. So some, some days, you know, we just get it wrong. And um, I think there's a lesson here for us and a lesson for everyone that if the weather's a bit iffy or could go either way, you're better off staying at home, I think. Because then you know you're gonna you're gonna be safe because at the end of the day, safety first. Unfortunately, another we had a, a bar crossing uh, fatality just two days ago, just down south from here. So you know the ocean is is dangerous. All right, we'll keep punching on. We're getting there. Now. Just shut the film out there and we can get better. So people see what we're up, what we're up against.
top. <laughs> we would be so head to toe if we weren't in this hard top. No bimini or clears or folding hard top keeps this sort of water out. So we've been, we've been doing this for about, I don't know, 20, 50, oh, let's say 15 kilometers now. And uh, when we get into the heads, we'll show you guys how much water has come into the back of the boat. I haven't actually turned the bilge pump on once today at all. And we've been out for a few hours in these seas. So yeah, I'll show you guys in a minute when we're in some safer waters. moment just concentrating watching every single wave sitting on yeah 23 kilometers per hour you could you could go faster but you know it could be dangerous and it would be uncomfortable so this is fast enough in these conditions Hairy run in. We haven't had a, a run in like that for quite some time, probably several years, I would say. So uh, we were basically the last boat back. Um, all of the other boats had already come back, which is probably wise. All right. As mentioned, I was going to check out now. So you guys saw us munching through that that water, and let's have a look in the bilge area. A little bit of water over there. That's it. That's basically it. So I keep telling you guys, you know, I don't understand this fad about self-draining decks because you sure as hell don't need them. Barely any water comes in these boats, even, you know, going through seas like that. So I'll whip that out with the, uh, the bilge pump, obviously, but yeah. She went all right. See you soon.